WhatsApp now has a chatbot to connect millions of users with more than 80 fact-checking organizations across the globe. The chatbot launched on Monday by the Pointer Institute for Media Studies International Fact-Checking Network tell users whether information is false. It comes as efforts to battle misinformation being spread about the coronavirus intensifies. Professional fact-checkers from 74 different countries have been working since January, debunking over 4,000 COVID-19 hoaxes in that time. The pointer database of coronavirus hoaxes include rumors rated to be false like fake vaccines and miracle cures, coronavirus being created as a biological weapon, racist misinformation about the spread of COVID-19, and false claims that 5G caused the coronavirus. The database is updated every day. We are now joined by David Ajik. Kobe, the Nigeria editor of Africa Check, uh, Africa Check, rather. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Jacoby. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Great. Good afternoon to you. Now, what do we know about this app? Are there others like it already in Nigeria? Uh, well, essentially, uh, it's uh, uh, it's a chat box, and the idea behind it is that it's um, uh, you have uh, sort of. Uh, we've, uh, we've been allowed to actually basically enter the uh, backend or API of WhatsApp to develop a bot. It's not an app, so to say. Uh, and the idea is that it creates an automated response, um, 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 uh, a two-way, a two-way automated response to its uh, communication. Where somebody puts, for example, um, you put a claim, say maybe you don't know what's happening in Kano, you put a claim surrounding any COVID-19 related um, issue. And then you put it on the chatbot, you send it to the chatbot with the number provided. Uh, and what happens is that that query automatically goes to fact checkers across the world, depending on the region of that query. So, for example, if it's something Nigeria related, it will come to uh, my organization, Africa Check, or Dubawa, or any other organization locally that is doing that. And then we debunk it quickly. And if you have debunked it before, in real time, a, a link is sent to you about where we debunk it and the fact check that we've done. So what that does is that you know it creates a, um, a two part a, a, like a, a, a conversation with yourself and fact checkers across the world. It's not necessarily having five, six, ten, seven, seventy different uh, WhatsApp numbers. Mm -hmm. um, your question about do we have it in Nigeria? Um, yes. For, for example, Africa Check and Africa Check we uh, we developed a chat box called Quali. Uh, Kweli is truth in mm -hmm. Swahili, and um, we we it's we've deployed it in um, Nigeria, um, Senegal, um, Kenya, and South Africa, where people can add us to their WhatsApp WhatsApp um, lines. And then, um, if you have anything coronavirus related or COVID nineteen related um, misinformation, you can send it there. It goes to the appropriate country. If you've debunked it before, it sends you a link back within within seconds or within minutes in some, in some cases. So, uh, yes, we have something similar. But we think that with more of this, uh, people will be able to have the right information about COVID-19 on their, on, their, on their WhatsApp or any other platform um, they want it. All right, Mr. Jacob, quickly tell us about some of the checks you have done in recent days. Um, well... I think that, uh, like you mentioned before in your introduction, um, we've seen that uh, there's been a lot of you know, misinformation and disinformation uh, 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 since January. But recently, we've seen two, uh, um, a hike in um, the so-called uh, cures. Uh, so for example, let me give you one. Last week, within the past week, uh, we've debunked the claim, uh, for example, that uh, breathing steam from bold, bold orange leaves or lemon peels can cure or prevent coronavirus, you know. And then we looked at the scientific evidence, we looked at, we spoke to WHO, we spoke to experts, and, and this was a video that was trending online, you know. And the idea is simple. A lot of people are afraid about COVID-19. They are looking for ways and means to protect themselves or to get cured, to, to have a cure in case they get it. So you can understand why this kind of misinformation spreads or why it gains traction very quickly. Uh, and then you know, on this particular one, there is no scientific backing or proof to show that um, uh, if, you, if you inhale steam from boiling orange leaves or, or lemon peels, I've seen similar cases like ginger and garlic and things like that. Um, as we know, as, we, as it is right now, 
you know there's no cure. I mean, you know, you understand what the cure means. There's no cure uh, for COVID-19 as we speak, uh, even though work is being done on it. And then also we saw that um, recently there's always the there's, there's conversation around uh, the COVID-19 vaccines. Um, there was a report that China has sent uh, COVID vaccines 19 to Nigeria, and then it's going to kill millions of Nigerians and things like that. And then um, this, was from, this was from Facebook. And then we look when we debunked when we looked at it, there was the picture that came along with it of um, some medical supply being um, shipped from out of a, of, a, of a plane. Essentially, when we do the Google reverse image search first, that picture was not from Nigeria; it was in Ghana, and it had nothing to do with vaccines. They were from um, N95 medical supplies that were supplied by um, some contractors to to Ghana. Um, and some other uh, medical protective suits and gloves and things like that. So you can see, for example, in this case, I mean, there's already a conversation and already a debate in the country about, oh, vaccines, a particular uh, organization is making vaccines to kill all of us. There's a controversy over the um, NCDC bill, so to say. Um, so you can imagine how that will spread quickly. But for this particular claim, there's no uh, proof to say it is so. And also on vaccine, um, there was also uh, a particular one that we saw where on WhatsApp, and it's been spread on WhatsApp, Nigerian WhatsApp in Nigeria, that um, seven children in Senegal have been killed uh, because of a fake uh, uh, coronavirus va vaccine and that it's on its way to Nigeria. That's not true. Uh, the, video, the, the video circulating say, uh, saying that was totally uh, false. Um, Yes, uh, David Ajikobi, yeah. but in the interest of time, this is all we are able to take. I must say thank you so very much for the work you do and keep safe out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Right.